Well, here's another update before it starts raining again. This guy's uh, looking cool, but kind of crazy. <clears throat> so, everything's been working great so far. I got uh, another set of battery terminals, just came in the mail today. So, I added one more battery and put another battery hole down on this other side. A little, little rusty, it's a used one. Um, so it's another another BMW battery I had laying around. So I just wanted to get the, the quick connect terminals um, before I start wiring the thing in. Uh, but it is mounted, as you can see underneath. I put a brace under it. Uh, just stack some uh, some two by eights that I had uh, while I was cutting everything else. I just used some of the scraps. Um, I still don't have fuses on this side yet. I've been building shelves and moving smaller storage units into the bigger storage unit. Uh, so far, the the Pure Sine Wave 2500 watt Vivor inverter works awesome. Uh, never popped that 250 breaker. Uh, the battery's held up great. Um, you know, it's always short periods of heavy heavy load instead of long and slow and then I changed that because now I have these wires kind of running over the top on a little inline circuit breaker here uh, that's coming out of the Victron here uh, there's where you can directly connect the load and I have the wires running inside the cab uh, that's where my Iceco uh, refrigerated cooler is located so I've been kind of monitoring the the batteries it's been raining for the past three or four days and I used the I used my chop saw quite a bit before that so the batteries were very very low before I put on a real slow draining I don't know it's, it's usually about 70 watts average um, so I did have to charge it yesterday but that was probably four days with little to no solar uh, these panels with this uh, charge controller, it's putting out about uh, 135 watts on average in real direct sunlight, um, which I think the the panels can handle a little bit more than that because it's 350 watt panels. The Victron here only does 10 amps, and that's I think it's capping itself internally at the 10 amps. So I probably should have gone with the 15, even though it was the same price that I paid for this one on eBay. But I'm going to get this, uh, this third battery wired up, and uh, now that all the voltages are kind of equalized, or everything's fully charged. One thing I forgot to mention in the previous video, uh, the battery, or the, the power cable that I'm using, it's the part number 1436885. It's actually what is left from one of my BMWs that I parted out. Um, I kept the main power wire that goes from the back battery all the way to the jumper post that's under the hood. You get this big fat cable, pure copper. Um, I don't know, you could probably buy them used on eBay. It wasn't wasn't worth me selling it on eBay because I use it all the time. Um, it's nice and flexible. I mean, for how, how thick it is, it's pretty flexible. I have really big hands, so I'm 6'5". Um, so I'm sure, uh, I'm sure this can handle any current that I can throw at it, especially if I'm spreading it out between multiple batteries. And that's one of the other things. Uh, this, these batteries, uh, since I work in a mechanic shop that obviously works on German cars, I get these for about $20 a piece. Um, it's people coming in that just want to... They want a new battery whether they need it or not they just specifically ask for it they just want something new you pay the core charge on it i, I test it first see this one was uh, 789 cold cranking amps when it wasn't fully charged i just mark it put it in the pile at work um uh, kind of hold it off save it put it off to the side um i think originally that's a 900 cold cranking amp and it's 789 so you could probably just go to any mechanic shop you want and tell me what if you find any, if they find any of the big batteries that, I don't know, test within 80 or 90% of their sticker capacity, 
tell them to hold them off to the side you'll give them some money pay the core charge on it it's usually anywhere between 20 and 40 dollars depending on the battery but even these big batteries are usually about 20 bucks for a core charge on it so there's 60 bucks worth of batteries laying in here all right so here's one thing i do like to do um so after you strip and crimp whatever uh whatever curve that the wire has naturally uh, but I, I don't like to fight that if i can so i'm just arcing it over from one to the other um so i'm gonna wrap it with tessa tape um so just to cover up the red because i'm not there's no point of buying black wire if you're just going to cover it and you know what you did. If it's red on one side, black on the other, doesn't matter. So whether you're using electrical tape or this Tessa tape, which is awesome stuff, I wrap it and then I go over it with uh, just a piece of heat shrink tubing and then just melt it down with uh, just a butane torch. All right, here it is dark. I finished the, the wiring of this. Now that you can barely see it. <clears throat> so. Um, adding another battery here mostly because I'm going to be welding in the next couple days so I want to see how my uh, my little 135 amp 110 welder will work off this 2500 because I really don't have a good space to plug into the wall so that's going to be probably the next video but so far so good this thing's working awesome there's a, a look inside my storage unit the the shelf I built on the left all the way in the back corner has to span 14 feet to go over my automotive lifts so there's a lot of cutting but it was all made out of free wood and now I have all of my storage units combined into one and now it's just a huge disaster because nothing's really on the shelves other than what I wanted to get off the floor while I was moving stuff so it's kind of how I left it for now until I can get some work done and get back at it Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you found this helpful or at least interesting. To everyone else, smash that dislike button and tell me everything I did wrong in the comments.